Welcome back everyone, let's talk about cybersecurity and protection against online threats. Do you feel safe traveling and connecting to open Wi-Fi spots on your laptop? Has your smartphone even been infected or hacked? And when did you check your desktop PC for viruses and Trojans for the last time? We all seem to pay little attention to this and when we do pay attention to cybersecurity on our devices, what is our move? What other options? Well, one of the preventive options is installing an antivirus. And although some might say that it is outdated concept, antivirus software still has a strong footing on the market. Of course, viruses and malicious tactics have evolved into ransomware, malware, spyware, adware, web tracking, bloatware, freezeware, crypto checking, and beyond. But so had the cybersecurity software as well. And by now you are probably saying, okay, okay, enough with this epilogue, what's the product advertised? First, this is not a paid promotion, just my honest review, and second, the product is malware bytes. And by now you are probably saying, okay, okay, enough this epilogue, what's the product advertised? And first, this is not a paid promotion, just my honest review, and second, the product is malware bytes. This is a popular anti-malware application with certain advanced features and tools, that's why I chose it. They adapted and enforced antivirus, I would say. In this review, together we are going to walk through its functions, test how effective it is, and maybe discover some using tips to highlight. And by the way, have you subscribed to our channel already? I hope so, but let's get into the topic. First off, a brief introduction. Malware Bytes is a flagship product by a privately helped tech company with the same name from California, USA, founded in 2008. It is available for Microsoft, Windows, macOS, Android, iOS, and Chromebook operating system. Current product version is 4.59. There are personal and business packages as well as the free trial version for 14 days. Malware Bytes is designed to help malicious websites, ads, hackers, ransomware, etc., but also consume less than 50% of CPU in process, which is often an issue with antivirus applications being bulky and heavy. I will check this statement a bit later, be sure. As I'm going to use a Windows version, let's see about technical specs for it. 800 MHz or faster, 2 GB of disk space, 1024 x 768 or higher screen resolution, and internet connection. Fully functional premium edition costs $3.33 per month, and it is for one device. Double the price and you get the same for five devices. You can also download smaller utilities by malware bits for free, for example, virus scanner, spyware scanner, etc. This is you can perform on-demand scan with these tools and, of course, for real-time permanent protection, we have the main product. Install it, select business or personal, select to include browser protection or not, extension for Chrome, Edge or Firefox, and confirm. It should block ads and trackers, so let me check this real quick right now. I'll open the BBC News page, then go to the extension. Yes, I see seven items have been blocked. So installation is complete and the app is launched. A clean and concise interface with scanner in the middle and few other options. PC protection status is displayed along with some recommendations to perform the scan and software updates. And already we see malware bytes in action. The application is blocked due to Trojan, however, this is a torrent, not a virus for sure. If I go back to the main dashboard, I also see that four types of real-time protection are enabled, and those are web, malware, ransomware, exploit protection modules. Having a choice to configure it according to user preference is positive. Another one blocked some PUP, potential unwanted program and it is Windows Manager this time. If so many items and so frequently are going to be stopped by malware bytes, it will be a problem, but let's see. Settings contain several tabs and notifications is one of them. Display language, event logs, user statistics collection, a low list, theme and background, launch, a startup, etc. Pretty typical stuff. Exclusions is really helpful for me personally, as it seems, and I'm going to add several files there. Virus scanning. 
Basically, malware bytes has two prime functions – scanning for viruses, malware threats, and active protection against infections. Let's start with scanning. It is as simple as it gets. Just click this blue button called scan, but I also see that I have a scheduled scan. Let me check it first. It is set to daily scans. Now I can set it to daily, weekly, monthly, once or on reboot and also the specific time. On the scanner tab I can see the details of the last performed scan and below the scan button there is the advanced link. And there we have two more types of scanning – quick and custom. So in fact Malware Bytes has three types of scans – thread scanning, the default one, quick and custom. The default thread scan takes the longest but check a computer most thoroughly. Let's run it and see. We see the progress. Scanning memory, startup items, registry, file system, and complete in 2 minutes. 229,000 items scanned, 95 potential risk detected. This is a much better result in terms of speed compared to other antiviruses, much faster. In terms of detection, most items flex are PUPs, let me select a few. So the further option I have is to move it to quarantine. Done. Thread scan summary shows zero threads detected, only PUPs. Now I can view the report or export it to a TXT file. Now what about the quick scan, which only checks memory and startup objects? It lasted just 7 seconds and found nothing risky. Ok, and surely I have to check the custom scan. Let me select my downloads folder for this. 24 seconds and 25 item detected. Again, all of them are PUPs, I'm not worried about. In the settings, security tab, we have several crucial options of malware bytes behavior, automatically quarantine risk upon detection, include archives and root kits into scan, detect PUPs as threat or ignore it. Yes, this is the first annoying thing I've noticed right away and I probably like to ignore it. One more thing, remember the claim by the vendor that less than 50% of CPU is used in the work of the application. I've purposefully watched it in the task manager while performing all three types of scanning. Thread scan – about 80%, quick scan – 25%, custom scan 90% and 99%. With malware bytes running in the background, it was between 20% and 30%. So while scanning, the load is definitely higher. Real-time protection test. Scanning for viruses and malware is one thing, but the second and equally important part is a real-time protection against threats and infections. I'm going to apply a few things to check it. Now first, let me make sure all the real-time protection modules are enabled. Web malware, ransomware, exploits. All checked. Also check the settings, configure to automatic quarantine, yes, and scan options to include all possible options and scenarios. Good. As in previous reviews, I will use ACAR test virus files, but maybe some other similar options as well. Let me google test malware site to see what's there. Ok, I will start with ACAR.org. It stands for European Institute for Computer Antivirus Research. It offers several files that are harmless yet contains viruses properties. There are four different format files. ACAR.com.txt, a copy with different file name, ACAR.com.zip, contain the test files inside a zip archive, ACAR.com2.zip, a zip containing the previous zip. Malware Bytes Web Protection should block those files if I try to download them, right? I'm saving the first one to my desktop, nothing happens. The second one, still nothing, no notifications, no alerts. The third and the fourth, same, nothing. This is strange, what if I scan them individually by malware bytes now, detected as malware? The second, the third and the fourth are detected successfully and placed to quarantine by me. So all detected by custom scan but not blocked up and in try, and that's more important, I'd say. Let's move on and try another service, vcar.org. This includes ACAR files and multiple other tests files from various Windows OS configurations. This includes ACAR files and multiple other test files for various Windows OS configurations. I'm clicking the first one and the website is blocked. I'm trying the next one, the same. But these sites are blocked by Google Chrome browser, not by Malwarebytes. I'm trying to download a file directly by right-clicking it and saving the link. And again, 
Chrome blocks it. Not what I was expecting, but okay. One more site called malicious website test. This time I get the alert by Malwarebytes that this website is blocked due to Risqware. I even see some details. The IP, the port. This is good. Now let me try another tactic. Suppose I've downloaded some archived files from the internet, and I have three samples of malware masked in exe files and zipped. I'll scan them to see if malware bytes detects anything. No threats detected. Hm. Not good. The last task I guess is to see if Malwarebytes springs into actions if I try to directly download files known to contain malware. DLL files and DLL error fixing files have a bad reputation in this regard, so let me try, for example, run DLL 32. I see the exe files on the website called originaldll.com. Click it and Malwarebytes blocks it. Great. It contains a Tarjan, it says. A brief summary. Mixed results for real-time protection. Malicious files were not blocked when downloaded, yet detected as malware later by scanner. Risky websites were blocked. Sample malware archived in rare files was not detected. But note that this is not an ultimate test. Conclusion. Malwarebytes is a convenient malware removal software. You just install it and let it do its job. It has one complete scan schedule daily by default and it protects from malicious websites and all sorts of attacks. A free 14-day trial is a good addition. After it expires, it has no real-time protection, yet you can use it as a virus scanner. Full version costs $40 annually for one device. Simple friendly interface and exceptionally fast scans is what I like the most. But there are always two sides of a coin. In its default configuration, Malwarebytes produces multiple and constant pop-ups and alerts, mostly concerning PUPs, potential unwanted programs. Some legit applications may get flagged as threats. In my specific case, it was uTorrent detected as Trojan. Additionally, I was not impressed with the results of active protection against malware. It blocked access to some websites, but it didn't block test files with malware to be downloaded and saved to PC. Though I'd have to use the app longer to make a more firm statement on this. Now what about alternatives? If you need just an antivirus with active mode, there is no shortage of products. AVG, Avira, Norton, Microsoft Defender, Asset, Panda, Sophos, Total AV, Zone Alarm, Avast, FSecure, MCFE, Webroot, Trend Micro, GData, Emisoft, etc. As for special anti-malware with advanced features and tools, you may want to explore SpyBot, Search and Destroy, IOBit Malware Fighter, Malware Fox, X-Virus Anti-Malware, Zemana, Malware Killer, etc. That's it for now. Click the thumb up if you want more people to see this video and leave a comment if you have anything to say or add about malware bytes. Is it worth the money? What do you think?